In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a picture with the Raspberry Pi camera module. So you will first need to plug the camera module to your Raspberry Pi and to do that, make sure that you power off the Raspberry Pi first and then plug the camera module inside the camera port. The blue part of the connector should face the USB port of the board. Now you can power on your Raspberry Pi and you will get to this desktop interface. You can now go here, click on the menu and go to preferences and Raspberry Pi configuration. Okay, we are going to enable the camera because the camera is not enabled by default. So you go on interfaces here and you will see the camera will be disabled by default. So you click on enable here and then you click on OK. So you need to reboot so that the change will be effective. So you can click on yes here or manually reboot your Raspberry Pi. OK, and now that your Raspberry Pi has reboot, the camera is now enabled and you can take a picture. You don't need to do any other configuration. So you can click on this terminal icon here and we are going to use the Raspi Steel command line tool. So if you just press enter on the Raspi Steel, this will not do anything. This will just print this text, which is not an error. Okay, this is the help for the Raspi Steel command. And as you can see, we have quite a few options that we can use with this command. And to make it work and take your first photo, you just need to provide one argument. Okay, so that would be so raspy still. The argument is dash O. Okay, O means output. So you need to provide a file name so you can store the photo inside that file. So here I'm going to put the photo inside the pictures folder. Okay, we have a pictures folder inside our home directory, which is represented by a tilde. So tilde slash pictures slash and then the name of the image. Let's keep it simple image dot jpg. So don't forget to add an extension. And now we can press enter and the command will take about five seconds to execute because it needs also to initialize the camera. Now, as you can see, the command has returned, so it means the photo has been taken. We can go to our file manager, go to pictures, and let's check the image. So we have an image that has been taken with the Raspberry Pi camera. But as you can notice here with my configuration, the image is upside down. So I need to rotate it twice to have the correct orientation. And why is that? Simply because the way that I have positioned my Raspberry Pi camera makes the image that I take upside down. So I have three options here. First option, I can manually move the camera, so the hardware. I can move the hardware to make sure that this is the correct orientation. But this is not a good option. Second option, what we can do is do some post processing on the image. So I could just open the image and make it rotate and save it as it is here. But either this is not a great option. And the third option is directly to give an argument to that command. So we can directly flip the image when it is taken. And that's what we are going to do now. So I'm going to just execute the same command, but I'm going to add a new parameter which is VF and the VF parameter means vertical flip. So let's see what it does. Okay, so the photo has been taken. We go back to our pictures folder and as you can see we still have one file here. So if you give the same name as before, the file will be overwritten. So make sure that if you want to take multiple photos that you give a different name every time. And now if I go here, you can see now the sailing is on top, okay? And the floor is on the bottom, which is much better. 
If you want to horizontally flip, you can use H, F, option as well. And well, if you want all the options, you go to Raspi. Still, you just press enter and you have all the available options you can use to take a photo with the Raspberry Pi camera module. All right, so if you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.